Today we've got a water meter and our Arduino and what we're going to do is we're going to put some code behind this so that we can measure the amount of water that passes through the water meter in a given time period. Now for this demo I'll be using air instead of water for obvious reasons. I don't want to fill our TV room with water but uh, it'll have the same effect. Okay so first we'll do a demo and then we'll take a look at the software behind here. Okay let's get started. We will restart this so you can see. Click reload it, clear output. You can see that it's going to report every six seconds. I'm going to blow some air through here. The initial reading should all be zero as it shows right here. Now I'm blowing air through it. Okay, so we can see that uh, the instantaneous rate was 15 liters a minute there while I was really blowing hard into it. A total of 1 liters. Uh, here was 19, a total of 3 liters. And now that I've stopped blowing into it, that if this would be, of course, water moving through it. Uh, it's going down 3 liters. Liters per minute is now 0, but it's going to stay. The total liters since startup is 3 liters. And then we can see the total minutes and start up here. This will increase as time goes on. So that's the simple version of this. I'm going to have another video where I do a lot fancier job here. It just flipped over one minute. A lot fancier job, uh, but for right now, this uh, will do a, a good job of demonstrating how to use the water meter. This is the hardware we're using today. It's simply an Arduino Uno and the water meter. The water meter is also a very simple thing it is a plastic impeller with a magnet on it and every time the magnet passes a hall effect switch which is inside the meter it sends out a pulse and the arduino is going to count the number of pulses and because the manufacturer has supplied the specifications we know how many pulses equal one liter so yes uh, we'll look at that in the software okay so the uh, Hall effect switch will run on 3.3 volts. A lot of people use 5 volts, but if you do that, you cannot hook directly to the Arduino or you will damage your Arduino. You'll need a voltage divider. Uh, that's not in this circuit. This wire goes to ground and then the yellow wire comes back here to interrupt 2 on pin 2. And that's it for the circuitry. Very simple. This is the software behind our hardware over here. We are using Arduino C. The uh, device that we're using is a YFS201 flow meter, and we're using interrupts, which the Arduino does very well. Um, let's see, what have we not talked about? There are six interrupts per revolution, and 8 hertz to 8.2 hertz is equal to 1 liter per minute, and 486 pulses is equal to 1 liter. That's important in our code. Okay, so we talked about the hardware before. The working flow rate is 1 to 30 liters per minute, plus or minus 10%. And this meter is limited to 30 liters per minute. Okay, down here we've defined hertz per liter as 8.1, and that's from this up here. Um, we define pulses to liter as 486, which is from right there. And we've defined our interval, and this is not a, a really a practical interval, but for demonstration purposes, I've set it to uh, report every six seconds so that we could easily see it over here when it was working. Let's see, and um, you, yeah, I would set this to something much longer, you know, minutes, hours, what have you. Okay, we, here we have a constant byte, and this is uh, for the interrupt pin, and this is for a little surprise the uh, um, it's hard to see but the pin 13 will flash when the impeller is turning so this tells us that the uh, meter is actually running or not we don't have to rely on our code we actually have uh, a pseudo direct hardware input from our uh, impeller telling us uh, when the light is flashing okay uh, bull interrupt uh, so this is also to flash pin 13 led and then we have a start time, uh, which we're going to use millis. Uh, the Arduino does not have a, a clock per se. It has a timer 
that starts when the power comes on and that's what millis does millis looks at how many milliseconds have have passed since the power was applied to the arduino okay let's go down this uh here we define a an integer of liters per minute and set it to zero here we have a volatile uh integer rate count so this is used inside of the routine that is going to be called by the interrupt we have an unsigned long which is total count and it represents the total counts or pulses that we get from the meter the an unsigned long total seconds and so this is total seconds since the arduino started up um, unsigned long total uh, minutes and total minutes since the start of the arduino so this is total seconds divided by 60 and then we have an unsigned long total liters which equals zero and uh, this is total count divided by pulse per liter and then last we have a character array of 65 and this is just for formatting uh, the output when we need to format the output okay the setup is a required routine by the arduino and we're going to do the serial begin 9600 and again that's so we can use the com3 over here uh, pin mode this is so we can flash the led and so we're going to set pin 13 to out mode output mode so we can flash that led uh, pin mode uh, the interrupt pin is input pull up and so this is the interrupt pin we're going to be using which is over here and let's see i want to lose my place attach interrupt so this is actually where we're telling the arduino to set up the interrupt for us digital pin to interrupt is inter pin which goes back up to here pin two uh, then we have pulse count and that is a routine down here notice that pulse count here has no parentheses very important it will not work if you put in the parentheses and you can do falling rising both uh, i use falling the next line here in our setup is serial print line so this is the water flow it's just the title and there's no exit to this program because it's on the arduino it requires a constant loop um, sprint f we're going to format this line so this tells us how often the program is reporting and so I did a round of interval and interval is at 6,000 divided by 1,000 milliseconds. So it gives us six seconds. And then we print that through uh, this character string I set up uh, here. This routine is called by the attach interrupt. So when there's an interrupt, it goes to this, which is this right here. And you notice again, there's no parentheses. So don't put them in there because it won't work. Uh, and all pulse count does is it counts the number of times this one is pulses per time and this one is total pulses um, I set this one to be volatile and I don't believe I set this one to be volatile I saw things in the documentation that said it had to be but they both work so I, I, I don't know I don't have expertise on that if you know something put it down in the comments and and uh, tell me how it works I'd appreciate it and then run flag is true so this turns on pin 13 if the meter is running i'll try to show that uh, it's really hard to video because it's very faint the pulses and the and the led are really fast and it's really hard to capture them okay going down here to our uh, main loop this is another required uh, routine in arduino and it just loops forever so this is a rate count. We set it to zero before we begin anything. And so we're going to reset this every interval cycle. And again, this is uh, from up here, uh, pulses per time. And so that this is where it gets reset to start the new interval. Okay, uh, while Millis is, uh, while Millis minus start time is less than or equal to interval, so we're going to just do a, a wait and this is where we define the amount of time that passes before we do a report uh, and in the meantime we check to see we set our uh, led low so we turn our led off 
if the uh, run flag is true, so in other words, uh, the, uh, the uh, interrupt has been triggered and the run flag has been set true, then we turn on the LED and then we set the run flag equal to false. So this will cause it to flash and it flashes really, really fast when the impeller is spinning fast. And because it flashes on and off so fast, it's hard to see. But anyway, it's, it's kind of cute. It does work. Okay, moving on along. Um, this was an experiment. I left it in there. Um, it will, if the impeller is turning, it just turns on the LED solid as opposed to flashing it. So uh, your choice where you, you do that. And let's see, moving on down. Uh, total seconds uh, plus equals interval divided by a thousand. So in our case, this will be six seconds. Every six seconds, it will be added to here. The total minutes is rounded of total seconds divided by 60. Okay, easy math. Liters per minute is round of rate count divided by Hertz per liter times our interval, which is again is six seconds. So this is six seconds. This is our Hertz per liter, which is 8.1 as I recall. And the next line is total liters is round of total count divided by pulse to liter. So this tells us how many liters we're going to, we have passed the meter. And then we are going to put this all together and create our report over here. Instantaneous liters per minute. So we print liters per minute. So that's one of these lines right here. Uh, serial print total liters since startup and total liters. That's this line right here. And then we have serial, oh, sorry, serial print, total minutes since startup, serial print line, total minutes, and that line there. And then finally we have a divider and an extra print line to print the divider in a space. And here is where we uh, set the start time back to Millis and start a new cycle. Okay, so that is it for our Arduino water meter. This is the simple version. I will put out a little bit more complex version a little later and we'll go from there. Okay, well, I hope you found that interesting and useful in your Arduino programming.